Hedrick, what are you doing on a statue of Jesus? <laughs> the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? This is a demo of a game called Grey Dawn. Wolverines! Mm, no, I said Grey Dawn. You're thinking of Red Dawn. In fact, get out of here, strange curly-haired child. Run! Run before a priest finds you! Now, this game is kind of a psychological horror type of game with a bit of religious undertones thrown in. In fact, they might even be overtones. I don't know my tones. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin with this madness. Clergymen! We have religion! And a creepy doll. <laughs> okay, this is our main character. This is who we play as. Um... Hello, sir. First things first, if you could please turn off the radio that... I hate Christmas carols. Thank you. Tragedy strikes again. Oh, only a few days whatever. Ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This of is course. In a string of children reported missing since just last month. Is All of them were that a badger? From St. Anne's Orphanage. Okay. Father Abraham Marcus. They've gone mad. Are they Have they? Accusing me? Apparently. Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Maybe. Whoa. Now, we have breaking news What's about going on here? From Black Tower. My witness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to no, that's, about that's not him. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. Lies! They were innocent Lies and children. rabbits. <laughs> Heavenly Father, yep. congratulations. Yep. Dark times, for you know servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. Or a letter. Now, I'm not... I've never been raised Catholic or known anything about Catholicism other than if it feels good, stop. But, uh, I'm pretty sure they don't pray like that. At least I don't. Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals. But I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you, and please, do not despair. Um... Could this mean that you're alive? Maybe? I don't even know what is it. Is that an otter or a badger? I can't. I think it's a badger. Why would you want to eat a badger? Do they taste good? I don't think I'd want to eat a taxidermy badger. What? Um. Hello. You creepy, creepy thing. You. I could swear this thing was following me. I think you're right. What's up with the ribbon in the window with all these crows? Why are these crows hanging outside my door? Do I feed them? That's not a door, that's a window. Excuse me! Kid gave me a key. That unlocks the magical golden chains for whatever reason they were there for. Aha! Okay. I'm sorry to be a little bit critical, but, uh... This place... Is oh. this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. Okay. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. Oh, You're goody. Not one of them yet. Oh. In time, you'll change. Soon Good. your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. Okay. 
Thank you, strange child actor. Hedgewick, what are you doing on a statue of Jesus? I'm getting mixed signals here. The music reminds me of Fable, but the gameplay and the graphics remind me of... Conarium, actually. I can stray from the path. Now, gameplay-wise, that might not be a bad thing, but uh, metaphorically, that may be... Uh, metaphorical and bad <laughs> but uh, let's see what's going on here meow what's going on down here hello I see it's a paint I have a gift for you an image of Christ what a curious gift considering the un undertones of the game it's not that curious bring eight of them to the great priest and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Who's Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. Okay. Where are the stones that I have to turn? I'm a little bit worried about this. Whoa. Okay, just take me away, oh door. I was gonna go back and go through it anyway, but since you don't want me to run him around... Well, I suppose... Yeah, he did say that I'm not allowed here yet, so... I was just overstaying my welcome. Was that place even real? I think I'm going insane. Really? We've invited our beloved father Ryan There's to talk about frogs the flying out of the out of the ceiling here. Good evening. And you're thinking the other place was a figment of your imagination? Regarding these events, I think we are paying for the sins we've actually never committed. So Where's the radio? I need oh, I kind of want to turn that off because someone else's sins? Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen, my son. Stop it. I always carry a Bible by my side. So remember the ninth commandment thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor right so shut up but in this case how can I what is this I'd like to dude screw this game I'm going to Narnia oh blasphemy um Okay, that's a strange thing to casually say as you overpour your coffee. What else is it? Hello? A phonograph cylinder. Curiouser and curiouser. Where might we find a phonograph? So, looks like we're actually collecting items as well. Why is there a mini grassy field in my desk drawer? The doll is there again. With a blue face? No, it's just the... Oh. Hello? He's... He, he keeps staring at me with those cold, dead eyes. They're like a doll's eyes. <laughs> Hello. The Roman ritual. Uh -huh. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. Oh, really? You performed an exorcism on the boy, I see. That's not cool. I'm not going any further. There's something down there, or yeah. someone. Uh, dude, it growled. I highly doubt that's a someone. Jesus. Yeah, seriously, what the hell? Why was there hellfire coming out of that room? I don't feel comfortable being in here. Especially with that. What kind of trick is this? Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? Why do you have mannequins like that in the basement at all? Holy water. Huh. Might need that. 
There is a story about a priest and his whore. Okay. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. If you say so. It is said that she was a faithful creature, uh -huh. visiting the church often at night to confess her sins. Right, right. Of course, Father Abraham would ask... I'm not listening to any of that. Whoa. Okay, what are you yelling about now? I am definitely going to play this in reverse set to find out what he's saying, but, uh... Go away. Oh, they listened. Why is, if this is a church, why are they having paintings like that? Why are the beds like it? Oh, I see. This is a, this is, this is what's going on, is it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, he's, it's not little boys, so there's that. Hello. Hmm. What are you? Sacramental bread. Oh, okay. I never felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. Okay. She always had a peculiar passion about the church and about me. If that's what you call it. Alright. So she she wanted a holy diddling. Okay. Whoa. Hello? Is there something naughty going on in there? Okay, that's a lie, and you know it. I know. Well, that's that's definitely something I don't believe. Um. Ah. Uh -huh. Hello. Excuse me, I gotta take a phone call. Hello. Is this the man I spoke to about the frogs? Nope. It's a kid with a voice modulator. Singing the, or pl speaking the Lord's Prayer. That is the weirdest ransom message I've ever heard. How did I not notice this before? What does it say? I want the blood and the flesh. I want the blood and the flesh of Christ. Okay. Did Did the water just get higher or is that just Hello? The blood and the flesh of Christ. Oh. That means red wine and sacramental bread. Okay, so the the Creepy statue with the uh, evil voice wants communion. Wants to partake in communion. Okay. The smell of wine. Well, I would assume that that's because wine goes in that. So, what's going to happen? Well, let's find out, I guess. So. Catholics take communion way differently than I do. All right. Oh. Okay. So now we're dealing with Cthulhu too. <laughs> oh. Well, isn't that precious? What are we going to find down there? We can find out in another episode. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. Remember, this is just a demo, but it might be interesting enough to get the full version and uh, do a full Let's Play of it. Let me know if you want to see that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze. Once she told him, I want to feel the taste of the cross on my lips. I want to be part of your madness, to make liturgy of sin, to drink the blood of Christ and to eat his flesh, to bathe in his blood, to be one with him. This is blasphemy!